Between 1993 and 1995, the Canadian Football League began expanding its brand into American markets. The CFL's first American expansion team was the Sacramento Gold Miners in 1993. By 94, the CFL had four U.S.-based teams, including the Baltimore CFL Colts. Due to legal issues with the NFL, Baltimore was unable to use the Colt name, changing the name to the Baltimore Football Club instead. Baltimore FC would play its first game on the road, defeating the Toronto Argonauts 28-20. The team's home was Memorial Stadium. Former tenants included the NFL's Colts and MLB's Orioles. Their first home game was a loss to the Calgary Stampeders, 42-16 in Week 2. Baltimore would finish second in the East Division with a 12-6 record. After postseason victories against Toronto and Winnipeg, Baltimore became the first American team to qualify for the Grey Cup. Despite a 17-10 halftime lead, they would lose the championship to the BC Lions, 26-23. In 1995, Baltimore held a Name the Team fan poll. Owner Jim Spurros announced the name Baltimore Stallions, replacing the Baltimore FC name. The Stallions would place first in the South Division at 15-3. Defeating Winnipeg and San Antonio, Baltimore would appear in the Grey Cup for a second straight year. Baltimore would defeat Doug Flutie's Calgary Stampeders, 37-20. They would be the only U.S. team to win the Grey Cup championship. On November 6, 1995, it was announced that the Cleveland Browns would be relocating becoming the Baltimore Ravens in 1996. Jim Spurros knew his franchise wouldn't be able to compete with an NFL team. He planned to move the team to Houston, filling the gap left by the Oilers. However, this plan would not materialize. The CFL's American teams would move or fold, ending the experiment of Southern expansion. The Stallions would move to Canada, becoming the third incarnation of the Montreal Alouettes. The Stallions and Alouettes are considered to be separate franchises. They do not share the same history. The Baltimore Stallions are considered to be the most successful American CFL team, with strong home attendance, two winning seasons, and a Grey Cup championship. Former players Tracy Ham, Alfred Payton, Mike Pringle and Don Matthews are honored at the Canadian Football Hall of Fame.